Hey guys, it's Printum here, and welcome to Super Evolution Roblox. This is a new game. It's been out for maybe, I think, about a month. I actually found out about it about a week ago, and we and Bacon just happened to stumble across it, and we've just been grinding like crazy. This game is just, just so much fun. And currently, before I get into the update details, which I'm sure a lot of you are here for, let me just go over essentially what I have. So I've been playing the game for a while, and I basically have the best units or the best heroes in the game, to my knowledge. I got Kid Trunks, who gives me 24% of agility endurance every 3.5 seconds, which is amazing, meaning I get two stats, and they give really good amounts. Then we have a Gohan, which gives me 36 key and 30 strength. And I think I might be able to have a certain better loadout if I can get like a, a second Gohan. I can do like both of those, and that seems kind of OP to me. But yeah, I have both of those rocking. And uh, also, when it comes to training, I got my strength up to the Crimson Hellfire Fist. There's also two more that I have to go do. And then Endurance, this is new. This is new. I'll go to that in just a second. But I, this is what I'm like rocking right now. My energy is kind of low. I've been mainly working on Endurance and Strength. But then also, in moves, I've got like every move unlocked except for like I think the two new ones, which we'll be able to unlock today. And my stats are 160 billion, and I'm an Android, which was almost the best in the game but now they've added two new ones so let's just get right into the up okay so first off they actually added in hero trading so essentially you see this little trade button right here this was not here before if you click on that you can trade to certain people i believe these are way too weak of people but i can trade to other players so let's just say i want to trade with purple girl i guess okay so someone just accepted the offer and i'm just gonna straight up give him a okay never mind Never mind. Apparently, no one wants to trade with me. This is just depressing. This is just depressing. But essentially, what you would do is you would just trade your heroes. I was just going to give away a hero for free, but I guess no one wants that. Uh, if you want a hero, put it in the comments because I might actually give out a few. I mean, I I'll give out the best ones there is because I'm getting like a ton of them and I'm just getting a ton of duplicates. So just let me know in the comments. But essentially, what, what happens is you trade heroes to other players just like that. You give them out. It's a really cool addition. I think it's worth it. And that means if your friend just joined the game, and he's a decent level, I'm pretty sure you can give it to him. But he has to be strong enough. So that's that's a pretty cool new addition. Uh, moving on to the next. The second new addition, if you were to go to Evolution, this is basically your rebirth in this game where you would just kind of, you get to a certain amount of stats and then you rank up. Well, right now I'm at Android, which used to be nearly the best. The best used to be Jin, which actually used to be called Majin, but I guess they changed it to Jin to like not have any copyright with Dragon Ball. So basically now, Jin is actually not the best. They've added Berserker and Evolution Kai, which I can't actually see the requirements right now, but that's just cool. They've added two new ones. So Jin was the best, but now they have Jin and Berserker. I, not Jin, Berserker. They got Berserker and Evolution Kai. I'm going to be getting these very, very soon. So that's cool. I, I plan to beat this entire game. It's going to be sick, but uh, on to the next one. The next thing is going to be they've added new moves and new quests. What that means is basically right before this update, the, Goku had a limited uh, number of quests. I've beat them all, and you could probably beat them very on in the game. Very, very early on in the game. It's very simple. But essentially, the, one of the new quests was just right here. Um, gain 10 million power level. It's very simple. I just completed that. Now, he should give me a new move, I believe. See? That was really quick. The results of your training are clear. The earth thugs have been getting stronger. There's become too many for me to handle. Okay, I'll need your help in clearing the city and keeping citizens safe. Okay, kill 25 Earth Thugs and I'll reward you with some coins. So, just like the guy says, he's going to reward me some coins. I'll see you guys when I get to that quest. Okay, so I was actually going to go ahead and showcase how you can get the two new moves that have been added to the game. Because there's been two new moves. The thing is, I could do the quest because you have to get like a million agility. And it's a lot to waste on agility. It's going to take a lot of time. So basically, I'm not going to be showcasing the new moves. I don't know what they look like. But there is two new moves that you can get by just completing these quests. It actually used to end a, a lot sooner, but they've added a lot more quests now. So that's pretty cool. It's a new way to get gold. But uh, yeah, we're just going to move on to the next one because I just, I, I can't do it. It's that simple. I, I'm not going to do it in this video. They've now added performance mode, which is another thing they've added to this update. Basically, you would hit this setting right here and you could click on performance mode. And this is what it looks like. It, yeah, as you can see, the trees are kind of weird, but they kind of look better in their own way. I don't know. It's kind of, it's something. Because, like, whenever you turn this on, the trees, they look realistic, but at the same time, they look really stupid. So, I, I don't know. It's just, basically, choose what you prefer. If you like a cartoony style, maybe go performance mode. It might help out your computer a lot. 
But if you can handle it and you like it better, go to the high performance mode. Not high performance mode. Just just keep this off, basically. Do not use performance mode if you like it better this way. And uh, that's essentially all it is. It's going to help out a lot of Xbox players and PC players. And I guess on to the next one. They've now added new transformations, which basically means if you were to go to moves right here, as you can see, there's a ton of transformations. I can't see what they are. The highest one I have is Super Saiyan Blue, which I can't. I don't get another one until 85 trillion. So you already know there's a ton of forms in this game, and they're really, really hard to get. So basically, it gives you something to work up to. But essentially, they've added more forms. They've added two new transformations. So that's kind of cool if you can get to see them. It gives you something to work towards, and I'm I'm interested to see what they are eventually. And on to the next one. They have now added new upgrades, which essentially, if you were to hit train, you're going to see that in endurance, there is now advanced workout. This was not here previously. They've just added this. And I believe they've added a new strength. And they might have added some other ones, like energy and agility, but I'm not completely sure. But all I can say is that this is the endurance one, where the original was a push-up. Now you're doing like a... Uh, a handstand push up or what you call this but yeah it's pretty sick I, I like that they took the time to make these animations because i bet it takes a lot of time and it's pretty op as you can see i'm being 1 million endurance which to me is quite a bit and i bet it's also because it's a 1.5 stats weekend so i guess every weekend they're gonna do that hopefully so yeah make sure to log on in the weekend and there is one more thing the last thing is going to be they have a limited time hero capsule as they call it but it's basically this thing right here it costs robux I don't think it's worth it if I'm being honest, but you can feel free to buy it. I don't actually know how overpowered these heroes are. For all I know, they could be broken. But to me, I don't think it's worth paying 400 Robux for you don't even know what you're getting, basically. But essentially, they're all Majins and they're limited and it's probably going to go eventually. But essentially, you pay 400 Robux and you get one of these and it's probably pretty good, but I don't actually know because I haven't bought it myself. And I probably never will, but the game passes are pretty cool in this game, so I'll probably buy those. I just want to support the game, but not in this way. If it was a little bit cheaper, I might consider buying it, but just a little too expensive. Okay, guys, that's going to be everything from this this update in total. Like, there's literally nothing else to cover in this update, but I am just loving this game. I have planned to make a ton more videos, so if you haven't already, please do subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when new videos come out. Also, feel free to check our description so you can join our Discord and meet other fans. And check out my Twitter if you just want to hang out and see my social profile. I kind of post on there, but not a ton, but it's, it's kind of cool. And uh, join the Future Squad community. Try and let others know in the Super Evolution game that we exist. Let's try and get maybe even a code eventually for the Future Squad. Maybe the owners of the game will actually allow that. Well, technically there's only one owner, but you know what I mean. Let's just see if we can get the ball rolling. Maybe it'll happen if we do enough videos. So... If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, maybe leave a comment of what you thought about the video, and Fusion Timmy, signing out. I've never felt, never, never.